welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Today I have another edition of my 30 and 30 and this is a perfume edition. So that means that I have tried out 30 different perfumes, worn them each for one day, written down my thoughts on them, and there are 30 of them in total. So you're gonna get a lot of rapid fire reviews on them. I will list scent notes down here somewhere, depending on how many notes they are. And one note I should make is, if they have more notes than I can fit on screen, the lesser notes, the last notes, are not gonna be listed. I try to put as many as possible, but some of them have an awful lot and I've had to cut some of them, just for the sake of space. All right, the first one that I have is La Petite Robe Noir from Guerlain. This is the second edition of the original scent. I don't have the original version. I wish I did. I love this. Well, first off, I love the bottle. I think it's so darling. I love the little dresses that they have on them. They do such a beautiful job with that one, with this collection, and I love the scent of this. Oh, it smells so good. I really do get like that cherry and that almond, that droopy scent, and I love droops. Those are my favorite fruits. All of my favorite fruits are droops. So I really am drawn to this. Um, I think it's kind of a comforting wintry scent, and it fades after a few hours, so it might be intense in the beginning, but it's gonna fade nicely throughout the day. And yeah, definitely love this one, would recommend it. I just, I love that series. All right, the next one I have is Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. This is really a heavy scent. This is probably one of the strongest scents that I have. It is definitely not a summery scent to me. I feel like this is something that I would only wear in the fall and in the winter. I like it but it's a bit overwhelming to me personally until it has dried down and really kind of mellowed out. But I know that it is a classic. I love the bottles of it, but, and yes, I love it, but it is stronger and so I wear it more sparingly. It's not one I would wear every day for sure. This one I had to stop myself from wearing every day because I wore it a lot this fall and winter. I love the scent. This is Fever by Jimmy Choo. The bottle is gorgeous. I love that it's like ergonomic and it's easy to hold because there's all of these little divots in it. This is a plum based scent and like I just mentioned a minute ago, I love droops and plums are a droop and I just get that in this so much. I think it smells delicious. It lasts really well. This might be one of my new favorite scents. It's it's delicious, really lovely. Another one that I love, that I took a time off of wearing, but man, do I love this collection as a whole. It's the, uh, Mugler, I was gonna say, Theory Mugler. They're just calling them Mugler now. This is the Alien Collection. This is Flora Futara. Um, this is a really compelling scent. If you like Alien, this one is a lighter version of Alien. It does have a little bit more floral to it. So I feel like it's a better, like I would wear Alien every day. This one I would wear pretty much every day. And it lasts really well. I found the Mugler's last really well on the skin. I love the bottles. My mom started getting these for me because she just loved the bottles. And this one, I'm really happy that I picked it up. It is a limited edition, but they've been keeping around their limited editions for a little longer. So that's definitely one that I would pick up. And if you like it, pick up a backup before they go all the way away, which you probably still have time for. Then we have Dolce & Gabbana. This is Dolce & Peony. This one is, all right, it's a light scent. It's kind of compelling but it's a little more florally than I tend to go to. I like the original Dolce better. I think the Dolce is the best. Rosa Excelsa is really good. This one is better than Floral Drops, but it's just not as compelling to me as the original one. And it does fade after a couple hours, so, you know, you would want to reapply this 
All right, next up is Black Opium, and this is the intense version of Black Opium. It's kind of hard to tell with my background, but it is the blue version. This, I don't feel like, is as strong as the original one, which is interesting since it's called Intense. I really like this one. I liked Black Opium, but can it be too strong for me at times, that overwhelming coffee? I still get a, like a hint of that, but just not nearly as strong. And I wrote down that 12 hours later, I could still like get a hit of it. So it lasted a really long time, much longer than most of the other scents that I have. This one I think is really good. This next one is one of my favorites. I love the Jimmy Ch <clears throat> not Jimmy Ch yeah, Jimmy Choo. Jimmy Choo, Jason Wu, I always get those, I always wanna put them backwards. But this is Killian. This is I Don't Need a Prince by My Side to Be a Princess. So Princess is actually the title of it. I don't like the packaging because this is actually not the perfume. This is the perfume and I'm always, I don't like that it's so top heavy. That being said, this smells amazing. This is like a marshmallow scent. So it has some warmth to it, but it's also sweet and just delicious. And oh, I just love it. And it lasts really well, but it's subtle. So it's not like an overwhelming or like an in your face kind of gourmand. It's just nice and mm, it's delicious. I actually quite like this one too. This is Romance by Ralph Lauren. I just have the smaller versions of these. I have th the set of three. And this is, oh, that smells really nice. This is a really nice classic scent. It's not overwhelming. I think this would be a good work set. It's not gonna smell like sugary sweet. It's not gonna smell like overly floral. It's just good classic mix of all of those. And it lasts, um, for a few hours. So you're gonna like get a nice application with this. It should last well throughout the day. All right, this next one is going to have a long life. It's gonna stay on your skin. You're gonna be able to smell it for hours and hours. It is Angel Muse by Mugler. And I'm not the biggest fan of Angel. I've talked about it. I've upset people about my um, non-love of Angel, but I do like Angel Muse. It's a more mellow, it's not as in your face. Whatever the mix is in Angel just, I don't like. This smells so good. Um, it lingers, it lasts really well. You're going to, it's gonna have some sillage, not like a whole bunch, but it's gonna like, it's gonna have a presence, but not an overwhelming icky presence like some perfumes can get. This one I've gotten so many compliments on. This is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. I had a sample of this, I really liked it, and then I started getting all of these compliments when I was wearing it. And I thought, you know what? This is the one that I'm gonna get from, they had a Sephora set, and I really like those Sephora sets because you save money, and I saved like 20 or $30 by purchasing that set, and then I always buy them during the 20% off sale because I. I'm usually rouge, unfortunately, but I mean, look at my perfume collection, obviously. Um, I got so many compliments on this. It lasts really well. You can smell it throughout the entire day. This is gonna be a nice, long lasting scent. It's kind of, it's different than anything else I have. It's not really, it doesn't feel gourmand, but it doesn't feel florally, and it doesn't feel like an overwhelming oriental. It's just, it's so good. It's like a really classic scent that you're gonna get lots of compliments from. I really enjoy it. All right, this next scent is not long lasting at all. It's going to fade actually very quickly, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, this is Wild Fox. I d luckily did not pay a whole heck of a lot of this. This was a Black Friday special at Macy's, so it was like $25, not bad but you do get what you pay for in this case, unfortunately. It smells really nice. It's like a nice fruity scent. I think it has an apricot base to it. Obviously, I'm gonna like it because I told you how much I like droops. Um, but yeah, it just faded really fast. I was disappointed in that because I want a scent that I don't have to reapply during the day because I don't always have a chance to do that. And the perfumes that I keep in my office drawer 
don't always mix well with what I'm wearing. And we'll talk about what I keep in my dust drawer here in a minute. All right, next up is Kate Spade Truly da Daring. This lasts really well, and this has a pleasing scent. Those were my notes. Yeah, it's like a sweet floral. I do quite enjoy this. I love this set. I know that Ulta just recently discontinued them, which was pretty disappointing because um, I was collecting them and I love Kate Spade, so that's part of the reason why I was collecting them. It's a solid, nice one. Then we have Burberry Her, which I was really wanting for a while. And I had samples of it and I was very excited to get this. But it smelled kind of weird on the skin, on my skin, once I got this, like initially, and then it mellows out. So initially the scent is kind of weird. It mellows out nicely. I just, just till it dries, it just smells a little weird on the skin. I'm not really sure what that is. It also looks like I have little particles in my bottle. Maybe they're air bubbles. That's odd, I haven't seen that before. Um, and it lasts for a few hours. It's not super long lasting, but it does last better than the Wild Fox. Like that's one that doesn't last. One of the things that I keep in my desk drawer is actually this scent. This is Oscar de la Renta Bella Rosa. I have Bella Blanca too, and I loved it. I have two of this. I have the full like 3.4 ounce one, and then I have this one ounce that I keep in my desk drawer because it's just a lovely light scent. It has a light rose scent to it, nothing. It's not like a real heavy rose scent. It's just like a hint of a rose scent and it has a moderate length to it so it's going to last you know several hours throughout the day this is one that i would definitely would reapply which is good because i keep it with me the other thing i keep in my desk drawer is a small spray uh rollerball kind of per spray of viva la juicy which is my favorite scent of all time because that helps you like know what type of scents i like all right then we have donna karen new york or dkny stories this um, faded really fast. I put after three hours, I couldn't smell it anymore. It smells so good though, but this is one that you would have to carry with you at all times to have a backup of, which is just not the great greatest thing to do. But the set that I did get this with did come with a purse rollerball. Um, I can't remember if it's a rollerball or a spray. So it is possible to reapply. And it's just a nice mellow scent. Like this would be a great one for work, but you would need to reapply it throughout the day. All right, halfway through and we come to Chloe. This is Florida Chloe. This is the one that it took longer for me to get than any of the other Chloe's because I do have all of the other um, Chloe's that are in this collection. Um, I like it. I don't find it as compelling of a scent as the original Chloe as Roses to Chloe. This one is kind of like third tier, it smells good, just not quite as exciting or long lasting as the other two. Um, I found out that it faded more, much more quickly and it doesn't have as much uh, sillage as the other ones that I have from Chloe. So it's good, but I would invest in one of the other Chloe's before that one. All right, next up is Live Color Fully by Kate Spade. It is a beautiful bottle, really fun. This lasts all day. This was a really nice, long-lasting scent. And it is, oh yes, it is very strong. It is a very strong floral. So if you like a powdery and kind of florally scent, this is for you. I do, I do like it. It's not like I don't like it but it's overpowering and not subtle. This is not one that I would recommend wearing to work because if you're in a small space, it's going to be, your coworkers are gonna smell it and they might not appreciate it because um, I don't think it's a universal scent in that regard. This one I love so much. This is Valentina, Valentino, sorry, Donna, born in Roma. It's very fruity, but it's tempered really well and it lasts really well too. The problem I have with this one is I keep wanting to pull off the top because all of my other ones have tops that pull off. And this is actually the sprayer, the way that it's made. So 
that's the only thing is that it doesn't have an actual cap, which can cause problems, especially for me. But I do really enjoy this one. I have a smaller version of it too because this was the 3.4 ounce. So you could buy 3.4 ounce and get basically like the one ounce for free. Thought that was a good deal. Really do enjoy it and would wear it quite a bit. Then we have Betsy Fied by Betsy Johnson. This is XOX. This one was so hard to find. I couldn't really find any information about it. It is, I just have the one ounce. It did have like a little thing around the outside with a lightning bolt on it, but I took that off because it was really cheap and I was afraid I was gonna lose it when I pull, cause when you pull off the lid, it takes off the whole lid. It doesn't stay on it. So it was kind of not the best packaging idea. Although Betsy usually has really cute packaging. This is probably the most boring of all of hers. It smells so nice. It's not too sweet, but it is sweet. So if you like sweet, this is a good one. This is gonna be a sweet, um, slightly fruity, but mostly a sweet scent. And it, it fades really well um, throughout the day. So it's not gonna last all, all day, but you're gonna, like, it's gonna fade naturally and not just disappear on you like some of the other ones. Another sweet one that I just about lost the lid on <laughs> is Marc Jacobs' Daisy Love Oh So Sweet. When Daisy Love came out last year, I was so excited and I loved it. And then they came out with this one and I was like, really, I don't need another one, but this one is sweet. This is more of a sharp berry kind of sweet as opposed to the Betsy Johnson one. I love it though. And I love the bottles. I mean, Marc Jacobs always does beautiful bottles, just absolutely beautiful. Um, it has a light lingering scent. It's going to last well throughout the uh, work day. It's really fun. Nice summery. I don't know if I'd wear it so much in the winter or the fall. I think it's more of a nice spring summer type scent. All right, we've gotten to the most disappointing of all of my scents this month. Um, it is Juicy Couture, Pink Couture. And if you know me, you know that I love Juicy Couture. This is really um, where my love for fragrance really grew strong and um, most fervent. So I was so excited for a new one. And I mean, it's gorgeous. Look at the beautiful pink bottle. I love all of the um, inlay on it. The classic pink bow. Loved all of that. But my notes on this were not long lasting, not special, can't remember, which is not what you want with a scent. It's just, it smells good in the bottle and it smells like a version of Viva La Juicy, which it is. But once you spray it on and you're wearing it and you can't even remember what you had and you can't smell it, oh man, it just breaks my heart. So this is one that I was just really disappointed with. It is an eau de parfum, so it should have some lasting power to it. And it just didn't. <laughs> All right, the next one, this is probably my most special of all of my fragrances, not only because it is the most expensive fragrance I own, this sucker is 300 some dollars a bottle, um, and this is a 50 mil, which kind of makes me sick because, man, this is gonna take, not take long to use up. It is Tom Ford Lost Cherry. One thing I don't like, this comes off like, do not ever try to grab it by the top because it's going to drop. You can really tell that the money is in this scent. Um, it, it's just a hint a few hours later, which is disappointing, but this smell, oh my gosh, lost cherry. That cherry smell is so good. It's so unusual. I types of this that I have heard about and I've been suggested. So I am going to eventually try those, but until I do, like this one is really special to me. I just really love it. I think it is an excellent scent. Um, I just love it. All right. Next up is Black Perfecto 
by Guerlain La Petite Robe Noir collection. This is like the same shape bottle, not nearly as cute though because it doesn't have that girl, that beautiful dress on it. Um, this is much stronger than any of the other scents that I've had so far. It does like, it is intense, I will say that. It does fade away um, and then become more mellow and like normal, like you can wear it throughout the day. But until it does, it's it's strong. It takes a while and you're gonna be like, oh, it's so strong. Unless you really like a strong one, then you'll probably like this one. I'm not quite that strong of a lover. But yeah, it's interesting. I'm glad that I found it on a discount though because it's pretty overpowering. I love this one. This is Prada Candy. This is Prada Candy Gloss. I am not the biggest fan of the original Prada Candy because it is not sweet and I wanted a sweet scent and I don't, like, I didn't get that sweetness from that. This one, I get the sweet. There is some berry in it, but it is mostly like a sugary, sweet scent. I'm trying to think, does it last well? Not overwhelming, lasts well. So it does last throughout the day. You're gonna have a nice scent with that. Love this one. This is probably my favorite from the Prada Candy Collection. I haven't tried all of them yet, but so far, that's my favorite. Next up is Marc Jacobs' Daisy uh, Dream Sunshine. I was trying to remember which version this was because he does all of these versions every year. This was the 2019 collection. Um, it's a very clean scent. It lasts all right. Um, it's, so it's going to last, you know, half a day probably. It's just all right. I'm not the biggest fan of the Dream collection as a whole. It's a little bit too clean of a scent and not... I like things a little sweeter or a little bit more florally and not quite so clean. So these aren't my favorite, but I think if you like a slightly cleaner scent, you will enjoy this one. And right now, you can. this is the time to start finding them at discount stores. All right, last few. Our first one is another, another Juicy Couture. This is We Glow. Um, I'm not as impressed with these bottles. I will say the lid, I find, does not really stick. It's pretty loose, which I don't find is a good thing for this particular brand. Like I expect a lid that actually stays on um, because yeah, this shouldn't come off so easily. Um, I do really quite enjoy this. This is a nice citrusy scent. I love citrus scents though. So that's something that I'm always looking for. Um, I found that like it fades pretty quickly. I find that a lot of citruses kind of do that though, but it smells so good up until that point. This is one that I wouldn't mind reapplying because it just is so nice. I think it's a great like spring and even a winter scent because of the citrus, it doesn't feel overpowering. All right, this one is Machino, so real, cheap and chic. Ah, this is definitely cheap. So I love the bottle. I love that it looks like olive oil. I think that's darling. This lid comes off, it's so cute. It's shaped like a heart. It smells fairly nice. Like it's um, kind of citrusy kind of florally, an interesting mix of things. The sprayer on this is atrocious. It is awful, worst sprayer I've ever had. I had it all over my hands and I was like trying to like dry down my hands before I finished putting on the rest of my stuff. And I feel like it's kind of leaked down the side and I don't know if you can really tell, but it's affected the paint on the bottle itself. So I'm probably not gonna wear this very much at all because of how bad the sprayer is. All right, next up is Salvatore Ferragamo. This is Signorina in Fiore, and I think this is a lovely scent. The thing about this is that the gold here tends to crack. So someone told me to hold it down like this and to pull it off. I haven't actually pushed it down very hard because my original one has that crack already and I'm worried about it if I'll be able to open and close it eventually. But this one, I 
it's a light, oh, it smells so good. It's a beautiful, light, airy scent, kind of citrusy, kind of floral, nothing overpowering at all. Just a really nice all around scent. This one is pretty inexpensive as well. I found this for not too much at TJ Maxx. So you can find it at different places, which I think is awesome. Next one is Lancome. This is Dole. I have it with the case, the set that I bought came with a case, which I really like because this is such a fragile bottle and it's hard to stand. And at least in this case, it stands better. I like that the bottle has like a light indentation here. I don't know, you can kind of see it. It's just looks a little abnormal there but that helps you when you're holding it, when you're spraying it, which I really appreciate. This is a super thin bottle. I've never seen anything like this before. And mm, I really like this one. Someone said that it's like supposed to be like a soapy smell and I can see that. And I really do enjoy this. I think it's a great universal set. It lasts fairly well. After a few hours, it will begin to fade. And after about six hours, you won't be able to smell it anymore. But I think it's a really nice one. I like how not overwhelming it is. Just, it's a really good like work scent, I think. And then my last one is what I am wearing today. This is Missoni. This is the Oda Parfum. I did talk about the Oda Toilet in an earlier video, one of these 30 and 30s. And I love the bottle, first of all. Like, goodness, Missoni does beautiful work with colors. So I think this is a nice scent. It's a little sweet, not like overwhelmingly sweet, I do have it on, so that's why I'm smelling. It lasts uh, for a few hours. It's fading at this point. I've had it on for about three hours or so, and I can smell that it's not as strong. It's kind of gradually fading away. And But I like that it's not overwhelming. A lot of that, I'm gonna say a lot about these, because so many scents get a bad name, people who wear a scent, because it's overwhelming. There's just too much of it. Um, the Sea Hodge is too much, and I don't feel like most of these have that issue, especially not this one. I do, I do like this one. I am excited to wear this one more. I always am relieved when this 30 and 30 is over, which sounds really funny because I do love to rotate my scents, but I just want to wear whatever scent I want that day. And there's been a couple times where I'm like, oh, I feel like wearing this scent but I'm, I've already talked about it in a 30 and 30, so I can't. Um, let me know your thoughts on these perfumes. Have you tried any of these? What are your thoughts? Do you have scent suggestions for me? I would love to hear those too. I have a scent perfume list that, of, that I wanna purchase down the road or try, because some of them don't always work out. I would love to know that. If you want to watch more videos like this, I will leave. Um, there should be things coming up right about now to sh give suggested videos, and I will leave a link for the playlist of all of my perfumes down below. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.